what's going on guys as you can see to start things off we have ourselves a little framing here for the mini jail facade you got the two sides and the face with two windows and an entrance all the framings glued and shot together ready for plywood is this not the cutest little jail facade you've ever seen <laughs> it's so tiny and cute how tall is it Seven foot tall at the peak right there. Sun's kind of in the way. And back here, we've got the saloon disassembled. There's the door, two windows. And then on the back, right here, is the top piece. I wanted to show you guys before we got too much further because we're rocking and a rolling. Chris is just doing a, such a good job. He's building a crown. <laughs> oh boy. Perfect timing. <laughs> what are you making? The sides to the saloon. Sides to the saloon. Well, there you go. There. You look very deep in thought there. Yeah, <laughs> We're trying to make it modular. Because yes. it's got a ship up there and then it's got to attach to the back of the wall somehow. Oh, that's what's going on. Just thought I'd show you guys. Super cute. Harrison size. I know Gene already showed you guys this, but I wanted to point out one of the things that we really tried to do on these is hide the corner wall seams by having the plywood extend over past the wall frame so that you don't see any of the wall ends. That way when we assemble it on site, it doesn't look like it was a modular setup. If you can see, I also did the same thing to the sides of the saloon back there. We just started to install the fence board siding. I just ripped a bunch of redwood pickets and a table saw, and I'm using a 16 penny nail to make sure all my spaces are the same, but in between them. I got the sides all done. I'm working on the front now. That's why I got this thing laid down. Okay, so these are gonna be the front support posts that uh, hold the building upright. I'll make them lock into the boardwalk that we still have to make somehow. Uh, right now, I'm just making sure that all my angled supports are all cut properly. They're going to go out just under the front lip there, uh, right underneath that trim. I have a couple sandbags in the back uh, weighing this thing down so it doesn't fall forward until I get those braces done. I basically just framed it in with cut down redwood and then cut lap joints on the window pane frame pieces there. We may hang curtains behind here or just paint some plywood to cover up the opening so no one can see back in here. Bartender, two beers please. <laughs> all right, so we got all the siding done. The posts are in place. Other than maybe filling some staple holes if Gina wants to, this thing is ready for paint. And now I'm on to uh, figuring out and building the front porches for these. All right, so here is the porch for the saloon I have the lower section just kind of roughly put together and I have framed out the the porch so that the each leg can plug into a hole and uh, luckily it all came out okay so now the next thing to do is to just take this back off and then start putting my little planks on but I just wanted to show you from the underside kind of what this is looking like each piece can just slide into place once it's mounted to there. And then that way this, uh, this little porch will lock in the legs to the facade. Yeah! <laughs> nice, nice. I made it a little bit big just so there's a little place so it's not super tight. But yeah, there you go. Okay, I got the frame for the bank all built. I've got my opening for the door. I've got a window above the door and then I've got another window and a window that's next to the door. So there's going to be four openings in this wall. I've got a uh, line of framing right here where I've got to seam two pieces of plywood together. You just scared me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is that. I've got my two foot centers on the other rows where there's no windows or doors, so it's easy for stapling. But yeah, that's what that looks like before we skin it. I'm gonna be skinning this facade with this 
plywood. I've never used this before, but it's some kind of paneling siding. It's got a little bit of decoration to make it different from the other ones. So we'll see how that works because i got to seam it together. I've got to overlap the edges, so hopefully I've got my numbers all right and it'll look good. All right, I got the frame all skinned with the plywood. I've got the openings all cut out. You can see you got the door right there and then the first level window and then the two upper level windows. I got this all cleaned up around the edge. What I did is I cut out the majority of it with this and left like a little uh, half inch or you know quarter inch edge and then just took the flush trim router and uh, zipped it around there, cleaned it all up. So now we'll put this together and then add some trim, trim out the inside of the windows, the outside of the windows, and uh, probably do some trim on the outside corners and do some corbels up at the top. So I'm gonna work on that right now. Here is the bank, all trimmed out and finished, ready for paint. Took me a little while, but I made all those corbels and that header piece is removable. The windows are made just like the saloon. I tried to make the little door different than the one that's on the jail. And we just used a little wood cabinet drawer uh, pull knob for the doorknob. I made the bottoms of the doors all up about three inches so it lines up with the top of the porches. You can see how I tried to hide the corner seams on this just right there where the trim pieces meet each other. Again, that top piece is removable. This is gonna look good once Gina paints it. I also went through with a disc sander and I took off some of the edges to add that old worn look. Even though technically if this was built in the old west times it probably would look normal. It just finished raining and Gina's all done with the painting. She's been out here working long hours to get all this stuff looking good. As you can see she got all the signs done and the trim and the siding are all painted. We ended up just cutting some plywood and then Gina painted them black. I just have them screwed into place back here. We were gonna attach these to the walls, but I put these little small pieces of plywood here on both facades and we're just gonna put a bunch of sandbags on it. That way we can just slide them into place when we're on location. They shouldn't go anywhere. So I got some of the siding up on this jail here. I got some window trim up. I got the door all finished, except for the door itself. And then uh, I left these pieces loose on the bottom and the top so that I could slide it out to drill my holes for the bars that are gonna go in there. The sides are all done, except for the trim going on the corners. Right now I'm making the roof piece that's gonna fill this space in. I'm getting ready to attach that piece of plywood to my roof piece. And you can see I have my little dummy eaves poking out here. It's gonna look pretty cool. This is just an uh, inch and a half, uh, one by one by twos or whatever. I doubled them up in the center there so that it would be a little stronger to support the roof in case someone leans on it or whatever. But yeah, let's get this thing together and see what it looks like. So close. Chris did such an amazing job. This thing is sure beautiful. It's straight, nice, and all the shingles are lined up so good. <laughs> I tried to make it scary on the handyman show, so I put them sloppy, and both judges told me that was the wrong way to do shingles. So I did it the right way. So you learned from it, huh? Yeah. Of course, they didn't have my designing brain. That's right. And I wanted a monster house. Yeah. For a monster dog. Monster dog. It looks kind of like that, doesn't it? Yeah. But do people know what you're talking about? No, but I'll put a clip in there. Yeah. I'll sneak a little clip in there, show you guys what I'm talking about. Yeah, Christopher's reality show day. Here's the little door that goes with it. This is just a handle from Home Depot with the two little points shaved off right there. To make it a little round. You're like my grandma's door <laughs> handles. Then this is the top and bottom. And we're gonna put the bars right there, and then there's some windows, cause Chris got extra fancy. But yeah, I'm gonna age this thing right now with my steel wool and vinegar concoction, and darken it up. Give it some age. Cause it's too fresh and clean. So I've started the porch, and uh, this is gonna go in front of the little jail facade. I'm using one by three, 
And I've got my little spacer right there and I'm gluing my pieces down. And oh, hey, I got a helper now. the time machine from the old west and now I'm helping Chris and Gina and it's taking me a little bit longer than it normally <laughs> used to but we got power tools now well, so I like to use my you... trusty old hammer oh okay well I'll get some finished nails for you I feel like I'm 170 years old <laughs> well you're gonna need to work fast cause we're under a time crunch I'll bring it in there. <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit. Uh -huh. Break time's coming up. All right, so the porch is all together. It's all ready for paint, and it's in front of the jail that Gina got all finished. We got the sign up there. The bars and windows are all in place. Got a little door handle on there now. So we're pretty good on this. So now you guys are all off the hook. You better behave yourselves or we got a place to put you. In the sheriff station. All right, so here we've started the framing for our little facade that's gonna go into the Sutter's Fort area. Now we've been given a lot of creative freedom on this project, so we thought that the look of a, an old lookout tower with skinned logs looked a lot cooler than the white buildings from the actual like Sutter's Fort. They have an amazing artist painting all the walls on location. So we know that he's gonna make it feel more like the correct Sutter Fort vibe. We're making this into two pieces, top and bottom. The top will have a slight overhang. You can see I framed out some little peak holes like they had in the real ones. Okay, so I've started cutting all the logs in half uh, to start installing them. They're between three inches and four inches wide and I can get a lot more coverage out of them by cutting them all in half. So what I did is I set up a jig with one by three and then I just screwed it to the side of it. That way it holds it in place as I run it through the table saw. Here's the bottom section with all the logs attached. I just used some uh, scrap little fence board pieces to fill in around those peepholes. Next thing is I need to make some little side returns and then cover them with some short logs. The tricky thing to do on this facade is going to be cutting these logs so that they look like they're notched and stacked like they do the real log cabins. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm just going to basically cut them like Lincoln logs. So moving on on the fort, what we're looking at here is one of the sides and what I did is to mount that thing to the wall I've got a couple L brackets that I put on top and bottom on both sides. I have the other one right there and uh, I just drilled a hole through the log I have a little backer backer block right here and then it's through bolted with washers and stuff so that should be more than enough um, support to anchor that thing to the wall so hopefully what we can do is make sure that we have like a 2x4 stud in the wall where this is going to be and we can just zip it into it and I just ended up lagging it in the back along the top where you can't see it uh, we still can use the angle brackets down below uh, where it's hidden by the fence we made. Dude, this thing literally fit perfectly right down to the eighth of an inch. I was kind of nervous when we first got here. <laughs> Are those cannonballs? Cannonballs. Whoa, I bet that's heavy. Uh. It's like one of those giant puzzles that are really easy to do. They go on coffee tables. Unfortunately, because they were still painting and renovating the location, we were not able to get any finished footage. The next time we drive through Sacramento, we'll be sure and stop and get some good footage so we can share with you guys. If you're new to this channel and you're interested in facade building, be sure to go check out our channel for the many other facades that we've created. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. We'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.